LA Rams show. Let's go. So we'll be looking at Dealer's Choice today. 1955 season opener. I really like that 1957. That's one of my favorites. Lots of action, lots of color. 56 Rams has Elroy Hirsch in it. For some reason, the 55 doesn't. And I read up on that, and I think he was injured. So, I'm going to start a new thing here. Or I show you the binder I took those programs out of. As you know, I like to trick out my binders. And my dad cut up some of the older programs he got from 1952 and a couple from 1953. And I'll take those out, the pages that are all cut up, and I'll put them to good use. The Boomer, Bill Brown. So this is what's the binder that I keep my 1970s Kellogg's 3D cards in. This is one of my favorites. The guy appears, the guy disappears. And the back, an ink stained back. Because before I put these old 70s clippings I got out of these Sports Illustrated, I put them uh, in this binder but I didn't use plastic to protect it, so uh, it got stuck. I was lucky I got it out. My 1971 Kellogg's binder. Oh, there's Les with all kinds of glare. Why you do that to me, Les? I'll just move you out of the way and take a look at Jay Leno. Jay Leno with dark hair. And the bat. This is the binder I keep my defensive top loaders in. Note the 50 year patch, 1970 season. And from Rams today, the only RAM card I have in a top loader, although I could have many, I do, just don't put it in a top loader. It's either in a binder or in a box, because I have a lot of nice cards in boxes. Because I don't want to put them in a binder, yet they're not cool enough to put in a top loader and look at. Like old Merlin, one of the fiercest players in NFL, and he plays a big softy on Little House on the Prairie. Do I have to say it? Show us some more cards, Uncle Tom. All right, here we go. And there's the binder. That we'll be looking at from today, from my Tops cards. So what we'll do is we'll put a Edmade over there. There we go. Thought I was doing that while we were looking. Wrong. How's that glare? Mm-hmm. That's a beautiful Tom Mac. Pair it up like that. That's how I had it in the binder before. But I took Merlin out to put him in my 71 3D binder, which you will see someday. See what I mean about my camera? There's this kind of vibrating, shaky thing. That part is my tripod, but see now it's going out of focus. Darn. I hit the lock button. That'll work for this. Have to get the reigning MVP in there. Nice shot of Roman. I actually have one more binder that I hold my 70 and 71s in, but I'm too lazy to pull it out and make it a complete proper show showing it complete 
and proper. You'll just have to take my word for it. I'll show it next time. In my uh, let's see which my red skin video. It's just a binder, nothing special, but just part of my collection. Part of my tricked out binders. See, there's just too many head action or non-action shots, I should say. Just, yeah, not really into the 78 series. It's because my dad cut up those 1952 programs. It makes it easy for me to pull out cool pages like that rather than have to go through a bunch of binders and take them out of the sleeves and then flip through pages. So thanks, Dad. You cut up the programs, but it serves a purpose. Top, Frankie Albert, a beautiful hostess. You got Joe the Jet Perry. You got Nutter, Hardy Brown. Just look at him. He looks nuts right there. He can't even have a good time. Gordy Saltow, he never wears, or he, I should say, he always wears a sweater vest. In every picture, I see him wearing a sweater vest. Another beauty hostess. And Leo Nomalini, is he going to get charged for harassment? He's got his arm around her. That devil. Coach Buckshaw, there's a stadium right down the street named after him. Cool photo. That's about as close to a smile as you're going to get out of Hardy Brown. That's after beating the Bears. They're just arriving home in San Francisco on TWA. This is the lineup sheet for the 1952 Chicago Bears in town. Hugh McElhaney, rookie. The only reason I show you this now is because I have it on me, but really because I wanted to point out Bulldog Turner. Bulldog Turner. Why are you showing us a Baylor Cal program? Well, Bulldog Turner, after 1952 as a Bear, he retired and became an assistant coach for Baylor. He's a Texas boy. I just photographed this one yesterday. All the Cal Bears have only partially been photographed, the main pictures. This one is really good. I need to do a video because the pictures are really good in this one. And there's a lot, just not of these two teams. They show a page of all the different guys in uh, the PCC conference. I would show it now, but I'm trying to keep it a Ram show. Pro football. Dealer's choice. I'm picking 1955. So no Shrine Game programs out today. This is a reshoot, so I'm too lazy to pull out all those programs. I've already got like six binders spread out here. It's got binders all over the room. In the room where the magic happens. Isn't that what they say? Where the magic happens. So let's go. Of course. Oh my goodness. Just like in uh, my first video. Mm, battery power is going out. That's too much. Pro football's greatest rivalry was a sellout. Just getting to the photos. Straighter. Love that Carol Hardy shot. 
His rookie season, his only year in the NFL, played baseball. Only person ever to pinch hit for Ted Williams. Besides the only player to ever pinch hit for Ted Williams, there's something about him playing in some bowl games that nobody else has ever done, only him. I can't remember, darn. TWA flying over as we speak, as I speak. He was gonna blow right by Ed. I like San Francisco's lineup. That's cool seeing Carol Hardy and Joe Perry. Just seeing, that's uh, just a cool lineup. Oh yeah, what do we got over here? Mm-hmm. Quite a few Hall of Famers. Yeah, there's no uh, crazy legs. I'm, I'm thinking uh, he was hurt. Or busy combing his hair. Oh, here we go. Yep, this is the program to show. Talking about the Shrine Games, John Arnett is in the Shrine Game, and Dick Bass is in the Shrine Game program. One other person I can't remember. Just shot this a couple days ago. Wow, already at 12 minutes. Got a rock and roll here. Les Richter. Cal Gray. Good stories on Bill Wade. Tank Younger, there's Big Daddy. He's listed in the 57, but no pitcher. And the bag. A beautiful bag, although this program does have a big crunch in it. All it takes is one dent. Still don't know the artist. Can't figure out his name. Nadi Kadi. I can't figure it out. I've tried. You know me. I do my research. Oh, that's right. I threw in the Chicago Bears info with Bulldog Turner, and and I showed you the Hardy Brown photo. Okay, I'll cut myself some slack. Oh, quick! It's almost at fourteen minutes. Souvenir programs here. Peace.